We're very fortunate that the National Portrait Gallery have lent us this wonderful self-portrait by Van Dyck, which they have recently acquired. And we've entitled this display, I am Van Dyck. And here he is, so this is a very late portrait painted towards the, uh, the end of his life, at the height of his success, Sir Anthony Van Dyck, who had been working for Charles I. And he shows himself as a courtier. He doesn't need to show his palette or brush. It is very much the mind, the intellect, and the courtier. And he's basically come to Dulwich to inspect the wonderful collection that Dulwich Picture Gallery has of early works by him and also some of his greatest portraits. And to explore the notion of what is self-portraiture in the past, but also in the present, we've worked with Mark Wallinger, the British contemporary artist, on an installation that explores the notions of self-portraiture. And it's a great opportunity to discover Dulwich's great collection of Van Dyck's and also the opportunity to enter into a fantastic installation by Mark Wallinger. These two works and, and the Van Dyck self-portrait can be seen through slightly different shifting perspectives or stretching the, the parameters of portraiture in different senses. The spinning Velasquez Pope is kind of a homage to Velasquez and, and the power of this work. It's called I Am Innocent. We know very well that the Popes in that day were perhaps anything but. The Pope is kind of forcibly looking at his own reflection over and over again. This relates in a way to self, which is part of a more recent line of work in which I've simply taken very well-known fonts, black and white. I made a sculpture which, which is to my height in Times New Roman, which was like the default typeface of the latter end of the last century. And I guess it's kind of pushing absurdly at the limits of language and that we all have this word I to speak of ourselves, which we share with everyone else. And so in a sense, the, the viewer is shifted about is the kind of mirror in front of Van Dyck himself, somewhat intimidated and excluded from the Pope's self contemplation and is kind of being resisted by this thing that's supposedly our word for all of us. I was very excited to be given the opportunity to be part of this exhibition and, and show some work that, that work in a kind of dialogue with the Van Dyke self-portrait.